Shalom, this is Yahusha Declan Ben Dawid with another message. Um, I, I had a dream on May 26, 2016, about the destruction of Babylon, and I also call it the burden of Babylon. Um, I know Isaiah saw a burden of Babylon as well, but this is what I saw. And if in a dream I felt that I should write the things which I saw. And so here it goes. The burden of Babylon. In the nineteenth day of the second month in the year of Yobel, that is the year of Jubilee, which was the eighth year of the rule of the prince of mystery Babylon, the same as spiritual Egypt, Sodom, and Amorah. That is May 26, 2016. I, Yahusadeknu bin Dawid, Beheld in the night vision the things which I shall write. In the dream I saw mighty men, men of valor, men of war in the ways of hand-to-hand -hand combat, which reminded me of the martial artists in movies and video games like Street Fighter that I have seen in this land. And the warriors in their stances with might braced themselves for the fight which was to begin. And when each had readied their stances, they each man to his neighbor began to fall upon him in combat. And as the struggle ensued, each man began to overcome his neighbor, and a man overcame his neighbor, and a man his neighbor, until with great pencils they all, every one of them, stabbed each his neighbor through, and every one of them was overcome. Then I saw, as every one of them was lifted up and thrown into a great cup, that the pencils were broken, were all broken in half, and before the warriors entered the cup, they were all stabbed through and pale, every one of them at once with the erasers of the great pencils, and which were in a circular pattern, and hurled into the cup. And the great cup was placed inside of a great harlot or whore, clad in the dark, whorish attire of Babylon, as at the city of Vegas, that is the city of Sin, or as at the car carnivals of the islands and the land called Brazil, but without the plumage of the like. And the harlot which I saw had upon her a fire which was kindled, and from sparks that the great fire grew until it was as large as the space between her loins and the crown of her head. And after these things I saw through the eyes of a woman greater and more frightful horrors than these in the land which they seem as great abominations in the spirits of the Nephilim and disgust of the horrors and the great abominations in which I saw I prayed desperately for Yahuwah to remove me out of this vision and as I prayed I beheld a door and walked to it and praying as I approached the door I opened it and as I opened the door I climbed out of the vision by pulling open with both hands, right on top, left on bottom, the woman's eyes whom I was in, and through her left eye, I left the dream, and then I woke up. This is the frightful and horrible night vision in which I left, and these are the things which I beheld in the night. Here's the proposed interpretation. The warriors are they that love violence. And participating in violence and who ev and evil whose feet run swiftly to evil who set it before their eyes the pencils of the lot of the warriors that they all shall be destroyed and for me to write the things which I saw the great erasers on the pencils represent the great judgment in which these things shall be erased the very harlot represents Babylon and her clothes or her idolatries, adulteries, and fornications, and the darkness of her sorceries and evils. The cup is the great cup of the wrath and indignation of Yahuwah. The fire, her great destruction, which shall come in one day. Babylon shall burn. Everything shall burn. The things afterward are what will befall her, and flood her, and overfill her, and the righteous shall not want to bear it. Yet they shall escape only through the door of life, 
And the woman shall behold the fullness of her evils, and what she has wrought, birth from her because of her evils. In addition to this, my wife also had a dream uh, similar to this in the same night. It has similar themes. And I feel this was a second witness to the dream that I had. Well, she also saw great abominations and other things like that. But um, I won't add to or take from. I just will give you scriptures. Revelation chapter 18 talks about the destruction of Babylon. And he cried mightily with a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is fallen. It's fallen and become the habitation of devils. In the hold of every foul spirit in a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. The whole chapter goes on about Babylon and its destruction. And they cried when they saw the smoke. This is verse 18 of chapter 18. Of her burning saying, What city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas! Alas, that great city wherein were made rich all that has ships in the sea by reason of her costliness. For in one hour is she made desolate. Rejoice over her, you heaven, and you set apart apostles and prophets, for Elohim has avenged you on her. In a mighty in verse 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Verse, the last verse says, in, and I'm not going to go over the last verse. Twenty three and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in you. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by the by your sorceries were all nations deceived. Verse 5 of the same chapter. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Elohim has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. How much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I said a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is Yahuwah Elohim who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of her torment saying alas alas the great city babylon that mighty city for one hour her judgment is come the whole chapter there's more jeremiah 51 55 we go back and read Jeremiah 51 55 says, Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I am going to arouse against Babylon and against the inhabitants of Leb Kamai, the spirit of a destroyer. I will dispatch foreigners to Babylon that they may window her and may devastate her land. For on every side they will be opposed to her in the day of her calamity. Let no let not him who bends his bow bend it. Nor let him rise up in his scale armor. So do not spare her young men, 
devote all her army to destruction. They will fall down slain in the land of the Chaldeans and pierce through in the streets. For neither Israel nor Judah has been forsaken by his Elohim, Yahuwah Sabaoth. Although their land is full of guilt before the set apart one of Israel, flee from the midst of Babylon and each of you save his life and do not uh, be destroyed in her punishment. For this is Yahuwah's time of vengeance. He is going to render recompense to her. Babylon has been a golden cup in the hand of Yahuwah, intoxicating all the earth. The nations have drunk her wine, therefore the nations are going mad. Suddenly Babylon has fallen and been broken. Wail over her. Bring balm for her pain. Perhaps she may be healed. We applied healing to Babylon, but she was not healed. Forsake her and let let us each go to his own country, for her judgment has reached to heaven and towers up to the very skies. It goes on and on, that whole chapter, for a long time. The burden of Babylon also is in Isaiah. The burden of Babylon. Which Isaiah the son of Amos did see. Isaiah chapter 13. Read that. Destruction is coming. Repent. Babylon is about to fall. Shalom.